So, ladies and gents, did you like Cruella? <laughs> this is, of course, the live action. Some people say it was inspired by Joker. I don't know whether I agree with that, but basically, look, obviously, it's Cruella. We know we, we we know who Cruella is. Cruella Deville. If she doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. Um, new Emma Stone film. I've done a review of it. I'll leave it linked above. Look, I didn't hate this film. It's objectively, there's actually some good elements to it, but it's spawned from a really bad idea, i.e. let's try and make uh, Cruella some sort of likeable, redeemable, evil, bad person that we sort of like but sort of don't. I don't get it. I'm, I, 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 I just don't get it. Like, it's not it's not for me, basically. Uh, but I, have, I still have the right to uh, watch it and review it just like anything. Uh, look, we're getting a sequel, um, which I think was inevitable. But I also thought that they were going to build this off into 101 Dalmatians. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, but yeah, look, Cruella sequel is in the works at Disney. This is a, a, a this is basically an exclusive over on The Hollywood Reporter. Um, but I mean, let's talk about this for a moment. Because it's not been out long enough. I don't understand. This strikes me as one of those movies that they just sort of fast-tracked. But they also may have fast-tracked it previous to the announcements, i.e. they basically had, you know, the the, the, the sequel greenlit, ready to go before the, the first movie was actually released. That's, that's genuinely what it strikes me, because this hasn't done amazingly well. Anyone who's, like, a lot of people that have watched it have said it's good, right? But in terms of actual figures, facts and figures, numbers, the things which are inarguable, it hasn't actually done that well. You know, that's not subjective, it's objective. It's it's a definitive, something you can count, something you can look at and go, yep, this is good, yes, this is bad. It's not done particularly well. Which is, like, I'm, I'm super surprised why they've greenlit a sequel straight away. Um, but they have, and i got to do a report on it, I guess. Have you have you seen this film? What did you think of it? What did you think of it? Because for me, it, it was... It, it, some of it was genuinely laugh out loud funny. But again, it's just stemmed from a bad idea. And I can't, you can't get around that. But again, objectively, some of it was actually really good. Uh, but here we go. Look, we're very pleased with Cruella's box office success. Apparently, according to Disney. Uh, in conjunction with its strong Disney Plus premiere access performance to date. Now, we'll get a little bit more onto that in, in literally in just a moment. Because this is the numbers that it's done, right? Cruella debuted May 28th simultaneously in theatres and on Disney Plus under the streaming services premiere access tier. Making it available to purchase for $30. The film has earned $48.5 million globally. It's not done, it's not done well. This is on a budget of one to two hundred million dollars. I can't actually track it down the exact amount, but it's one to two hundred million dollar budget, which is an obscene budget for a film like this. Because if you've seen it, I don't know where the money went. Um, they had, they had, they did. I mean, look, CGI dogs. Maybe that cost a lot of money. I don't know. Um, but I just only f not even fifty million dollars globally, and. Other, other important thing to note here with this very specifically is it has actually done less, worse, than Mulan did on Disney+. Plus. So that's why I, 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 I genuinely think this strikes me as something which they greenlit before actually getting the numbers in. But let's see what they have to say because they do have more to say. Look, they're very pleased with it. Okay, great, great box office, great premiere access on Disney Plus. We love it. Mm, 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 they're all about it, right? And that's a Disney spokesperson said in a statement. The film has been incredibly well received by audiences around the world. And then they say this with a 97% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Do you, Disney, do you actually care about Rotten Tomatoes? That's an eye opener to me. I get, like, the audience don't care about Rotten Tomatoes. I'm genuinely surprised Disney cares about Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> why are you list why do you care about Rotten Tomatoes, Disney? What are you doing? So strange. So strange. Uh, but anyway, in addition to A's in every demographic from Cinema Score on opening weekend, ranking it among the most popular of our live action reimaginings, 
We look forward to a long run as audiences continue to enjoy this fantastic film. It's not a bad film. I genuinely think, like, ultimately, a lot of people will enjoy this film. I, 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 I don't think it's offensive. They, they do get the uh, steering wheel wrong on a on a car in the UK, and and they're driving in the UK. Like, what are you doing? Please, God damn, we drive, we drive the steering wheel on the right hand side of the car. Get it right. It's, it's really not hard. Uh, it's one of those things that's just so dumb. So dumb to get wrong. And you know it's dumb because the original cartoon had it on the right side of the car. Uh, what I mean by the, 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 the literal right hand side of the car but also the right uh, geographical location uh, for the car as well. Um, so it was definitely a really dumb mistake. But this is what they're saying. You know, they, they talk about their you know live action reimaginings. Um, Alice in Wonderland... I didn't think that did particularly well. Maleficent did really well. Uh, Cinderella and one billion grocers that include Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin and The Lion King. Uh, the studio hasn't done with its successful decade plus strategy yet. As it has live action reimaginings of, you guessed it, Pinocchio, Peter Pan and Wendy. And The Little Mermaid in the works. So many things going on over at Disney. This is the, the last thing that I thought that they would do a sequel to. Genuinely, the last thing that I thought they'd do a sequel to. Uh, and interestingly enough, the same director and screenwriter are expected to return. And that's why I think, that is why I think, ladies and gents, that it was already greenlit. I think that they already had finances ready to go. Because not even 50 million opening weekend, that's, that's bad. That's objectively bad. Not subjectively, it's not something you can argue with. That is objectively bad performance. So based on that, it does seem strange that they greenlit it. But it's not strange if they already had financiers ready to go. They already had money men, producers, etc. All invested, ready to go. Say they signed contracts for two, I don't know, two movies or a three movie deal. Something along those lines. I would imagine that is what's happened here. Because like 48.5 million or something like that is not good. It's objectively bad. So it is surprising genuinely surprising uh, but I, I will be keen I will watch it and I'll be keen to see where they go with this but the other thing like I say Mulan that was one and done and this that performed better than Cruella did on Disney Plus so it'll be interesting to see where they go but let me know what you think down below in the comment section if you are new here please do hit subscribe you stayed this long so if you are new please do hit subscribe you like the content and also do give the video a big thumbs up thank you all so much for watching though guys take care